today we're doing free code camp backend development and apis we are on the first module uh, managing packages with npm and we are going to use package json the core of any node.js project or npm package um, so for this whole uh, course backend development and apis we're basically going to have to use replit which is kind of like a online vs code um, so basically what you need to do is just click this link here and sign up and then once you've signed up, click the link again, and it'll auto import their GitHub repo. Um, and then you'll have all these files, as you can see. The first thing you probably want to do is is run the shell and npm i to install all the required modules uh, from the node from package.json. Um, and once you have that done, we can proceed with this course. Um, this may be a little different, we may run into some hiccups here and there just because I've never used Replit before, uh, but we'll figure it out. So this first challenge, use package.json, the core of any node project, uh, is basically telling us that package.json file is the core of any node project. <laughs> Go figure. They say it's basically like the head section of an HTML document. I would kind of not use that example, but fair enough. Essentially, it stores key value pairs in a JSON object, and that includes the name and version of all the dependencies for the project. So all it wants you to do here is get comfortable and familiar with how to edit that file. So what we're going to do is add an author uh, key and then our name as the value. So if we go into the project here, we can see all of our files. If we go into the package JSON, we can just add author in double quotes and then colon, and then our name. Make sure you follow it by a comma, and make sure you do use double quotes, because this is a JSON file, as you can see, a single JSON object. So we need to use double quotes and um, commas to ensure they're separate. Once we do that, we can run the project. And this is what actually took me a minute to figure out, because I've never used Replit before. But once we have it running here, we can take this link. You'll see the web view will open up. The project is now live and we can access it from this URL. So if we just copy this URL, and then I literally had to Google it, as you can see, uh, this is a live version of our project running on Replit. So what we can do is take that link and paste it in here while it's still running on Replit, and then click completed the challenge. And as you can see, it does do it. Um, as long as we've completed the challenge correctly, and we are using the link from the web view here. If it's not working and this is running and your web view isn't working, sometimes what ha what helps to do is to just stop it and then start it up again and then try and resubmit it because this is a little glitchy because it is free code camp, of course. So that worked. I'll see you guys in the next challenge.